Welcome to another video from me, this time introducing the DPS or damage meter for Final Fantasy XIV, the Advanced Combat Tracker, paired with the Rainbow Mage overlay or plugin and the Kagero skin for a vast selection of customization options and to make the ACT look like the one you can see in my videos. Before we start this guide, one thing. The Advanced Combat Tracker being a third-party software is technically not allowed to use. But if you won't do big talk about it and especially don't harass other people with the data you analyze, which I also highly recommend avoiding for kindness reasons, then you should not be punished by Square by any means. So let us start this guide with the first link I have put into the description. Here we are choosing this setup link. Download it via save and before clicking onto open folder, go to the next link from the description to navigate towards the Rainbow Mage plugin. Here you have to decide either for the 64-bit version for the 64-bit CPUs and systems or choose the x86 version for 32-bit computers. In my case we take the 64-bit link. This has to be saved as well, but we will head directly to the third link to head to the Kagero skin. There we will just copy and paste this marked link here. Therefore just mark it and use Ctrl C to copy it into the cache of your computer. Now we are finally heading to open folder, which puts us onto the download folder where you will find the ACT and Rainbow Mage plugin downloaded. Make sure to go the safe way with the plugin, right clicking and head to properties and check the box unblock, which I highly recommend here to prevent any troublesome interactions of your computer security system with this overlay, that sometimes can cause issues in getting ACT running. That mentioned, we will start the ACT setup now and choose an appropriate folder to install it into. I advise you to create a folder before setting everything up and put the ACT and the plugin both into it. Therefore choose the folder or maybe the standard directory and work off the installer. Then we will extract the overlay plugin with the help of 7-zip or another extracting software. Make sure to click on extract files and not on the extract here, which can also cause troubles. So choose the directory in which you have already installed the advanced combat tracker. Wait for the extraction and head to chosen folder with ACT and the plugin in it. Check if the overlay is extracted correctly and head to the advanced combat tracker application. Another important thing to avoid errors, right click the application first and go to properties again. Then on compatibility and make sure to check the box, run program as an administrator. Click on apply then ok. And start the application and as you can hear and see he runs it as administrator. By doing so it will open up a handsome startup wizard, which you can use to get this thing running. First click on the next and go to get available parsing plugins. And now he will automatically look for and check the Final Fantasy XIV plugin. And as you can see he found it, with an updated version from the 29th of April, which is fairly new. Click on use this plugin and wait a second to receive an approval message and click on next again. No EverQuest 2 will be played, of course. And now he wants you to select the games log file manually. This is the extreme content of this video, but some of the easier ones, like Serio. Following on this, you have to navigate to your computer's users folder and head to documents, in the best case, and to my games. And here you will always find the Realm Reborn folder where Final Fantasy saves all his logs and account information, etc. Arrived there, you have to choose between all those hieroglyphic folders and look for the one with a recent log file in it, that may not be older than 2 months or something like that. Therefore you have to navigate through some folders to find additional log folders and in them you have to look for a recent log file, which you can identify by looking onto the date modified section. Here we have one from the 4th of April which is actual enough and remember to always choose the one with only zeros displayed. Click on open and ok, maybe receiving a message that your log file may be too old, which is no problem when sticking to those not older than 1 or 2 months. Then go for next, let the auto version checkbox checked and now you have ACT running in its base form. After this we head to plugins and as you can see he already installed the FF14 plugin and now we will browse for our rainbow mage overlay. Therefore head to the folder and navigate to Overlay Plugin DLL. Open it and click on the Add Enable button in ACT. And as you can see by the graphics on the left side, the application is running towards it visual and software parts. 
but to make them work properly with Final Fantasy, some more steps should be made. Meaning, we want to have the Kagero skin that we have saved into the cache of the computer put into the game. Therefore, head to Overlay Plugin under the Plugin section. If you want to configure these spell timers, leave the box checked, but I personally didn't find to make them work by myself, but if I do, I will help you with it as well. But for now, we will uncheck this and concentrate on the mini pars, which is the base element for the damage meter and its plugins and skins, and is needed to get combat data drained out of your game. On this section, we will head to the URL and exchange this hieroglyphic one with the one from our computer's cache, which is the link to apply the Kagero skin to our Rainbow Mage plugin. Click on Reload Overlay, and as you can see, we have the Kagero skin applied to our desk that comes closer and closer to the one I am using. And technically, is the software I'm using, just lacking the cars and edges to its design and customization. But before we start customizing, let us work again on some important things inside of ACT itself, starting on the plugins section and on the FF14 tab. You have to decide whether to parse your own data only, the one from your party or raid, or if you like to have parses all around the world like I have for myself. Then you have to make sure that the combined pets with owner box is checked to have the data of summoner or mechanist pets to be added to your own DPS and not to be split into two different values. Then we will navigate to the options tab and head to general section. Here we have another important value to adjust according to your needs, namely the number of seconds to wait after the last combat action to begin a new encounter. If you are having bosses with long transition phases and have set the preset 6 seconds, your combat data will be split into two parts every time you won't deal or receive any damage longer than 6 seconds. So try to adjust this value according to the occasions you are dealing with. For example, dungeon-wise parsing should go for small numbers and for boss fights with long transition phases like Tsukuyomi or Seiryu, you should choose a higher number above 20 seconds or more. Another thing to prevent errors can always be your firewall. So head to the Windows Defender or the firewall you're using and navigate towards the Allow an app or feature through firewall. Then click on Change settings to grant yourself the required administrator rights and head to Allow another app. Here you have to choose the installation path of your advanced combat tracker application, so navigate to the folder where everything around ACT is installed and select the application with the biggest file size. Then you only need to add the selected file and if you don't already have an exception for the app like I have, it would otherwise allow ACT interactions with the network through your firewall, which is needed to have access to the Final Fantasy combat data. And now, after we have done all these steps, we will restart ACT once and finally start our Final Fantasy client and reopen the Advanced Combat Tracker. Arrived in the game, we are facing the most exciting moment, the one to check if ACT is working here. The displayed health bar for your target already is a good indication for the thing to work, but you can always be completely certain when catching in some combat data. And as you can see, we are receiving data inside of our Kagero skin, which means that everything is working properly. So let us turn over to the customization part of the Kagero skin, bringing it closer to my personal design and to introduce you the way how to configure the most important things by yourself, to fit all of your creative needs and desires. Therefore we are starting inside of the game and head to the Kagero skin itself on those three points and click on settings and we will start this foundation from my pre-made custom changes, drawn out of the code I have provided you inside of the description and navigate to the import export tab. Here you have to copy the code out of the description with Ctrl C and paste it onto the line with Ctrl V and click on the import button and accept the changes with yes. And now as you can see we have the skin modified to the version you may know from my videos. Then let us turn to the first important section, the UI scaler. Here you can adjust control according to your combat occasion. So first let us catch some data. For example, if you want to pass many people from an alliance raid into a small window, you have to scale the UI very small to make them all appear on the skin. And if you want to pass only yourself or a party of 4 people or maybe take your second monitor for passing full screen like, such as in my thumbnail, then you should adjust the scaler to a high number to increase the size of the skin. 
Then put in your character's name under my name to ensure a clean calculation between you and your pet and head to the tabs section afterwards. In this section you can heavily modify the data that you want to have shown into your Kagero skin window, meaning every value you put on the right side will be displayed as value. As a little example we now will add death count from the left column to the right and click on save to add this value to your display. I figured out or just don't know any better than to use the info name value as border to adjust values on the left or the right side of the Kagero windows. So if you want everything to be shown on the left side, you have to place the values you want before the name value and for the right side after it. Next let us check the gauge colors section to adjust the colors of the gauges behind the data as displayed here with a decent blue for the Dragoon for example. Here you can play around with the opacity and you should always attune this on the brightness level of your background image. If you have a dark and gloomy background with little content behind your data, you can simply turn the color down to highlight the impression and mood of the background image. But if you have a bright background with colorful tone, you should use a heavier opacity to give your data a line to prevent it merging with the background, making it nearly unreadable. Above that, under the style section, make sure to adjust the gauge height to 85 or 100% to have that gauge underlying your data exactly. Thereunder you could also adjust the class colors your background bars will be displayed in, but I recommend to let them as they are, because the creator of the Kagero skin really has worked hard to adapt them to the original ones provided by official websites or game icons etc. Another section you can modify is the column width section. Here you can adjust the gaps between the specific values on your Kagero window and how much distance they can have at their max. I really took my time to figure out a clean and fitting setting, but if you don't like it, just go for it and move the gaps like you want them to. One of the most important things you will find in the general section is the player name appearance. If you want to have a slim and clean design, like I have it, with a bit of content and graphics on the right side and a smooth and underlining background on the left, it really is important to have the player names shortened. Either on their last or first name, but as the name works as the final bar to end your data, it shouldn't be longer than it has to be. For example, the U that is now displayed is very short, but a Warrior Master Tooth Grinder should definitely be shortened at this matter. And now, to the part that may be requested most, the insertion of a personalized picture from a Google Pictures link or one you have created by yourself. Therefore, we head to the Style tab and head to the image section. Here you have to put a picture link into the following code embracing it of URL, open parenthesis, single quote, the picture link and then after it single quote again followed by close parenthesis. Then click to save and the picture should be put into your background of the Kagero window. As mentioned, if you want to create a picture link on your own, just visit a website like the one I've put into the description and upload your picture. Click on it and make sure to use a browser that has a show graphic function. Only then you can have a clean picture link. You can always return to and use it frequently. I personally like to have a Word document to save my ACT picture links in. To switch the background from job to job and have some variation there. Sticking a bit longer to the style tab, another thing you definitely should change is the opacity of the navigation bar. The navigation bar is the one that shows your position, the duration of the combat and grants you access to the settings and other buttons by those three points. When this is inactive and you don't want to know the combat duration and your location all the time, head to the navbar opacity when inactive and move the control completely to the left side for making your navbar completely transparent when not needing it. Under this section you find the options to adjust the colors and font style in which you want your data to be displayed. And as you can see I have highlighted my data with a delicate pink to make it easier to distinguish from the numbers of other players. If you want to make any changes to the colors, just play around with the values and change them to the desired colors for yourself. And that's mainly it for the Kagero part. Just take yourself some time to try out some configurations on your own and if you really messed up everything, just return to my code and start from there on. But before ending this video, another thing people have requested. The health bar shown on the target and provided by the Rainbow Mage plugin. This not only shows the health percentages and a customizable health bar, but also changes its colors according to the target's remaining health, 
which can support your decision making with limit breaks or for important HP dependent phase transitions. Therefore switch over to the advanced combat tracker to the plug-in tab while catching another target. Here you can see the required values behind the screen position section, where the first two values are the X and Y position, the third is the width and the last is the height. My user interface is modified a bit, so you have to adjust the first two values by yourself, but you can easily copy the last two into your boxes. Above this, you can also change the font of the text that is displayed on which I also recommend you to check the height name box for not having the target's name displayed twice. Then you could play around with the colors of the HP bar, matching the remaining health of the target, but the standard setting is really good, I think. This you maybe can adjust according to the boss you're dealing with. For example, having a transition at 80% life you have to be aware of, then you just change the 75 to 80 and grant it a more striking color tone. And that's everything you should know, or at least everything I remember, for setting up your DPS meter, advanced combat tracker, like the one I'm playing with. Using the links of the description, you really shouldn't have problems in getting the thing running. And if you simply want my customized Kageros version, stick to the code I have given you and apply the steps to make him look even more nice and clean. I hope these are all the information you have looked for and requested and I'm really happy that I could finally make a summarizing video on English as well. So as always, thanks for watching and your awesome support. And we will see us in the next video. Until then, take care.